Hello techies, welcome to IT Tech Solution. In this uh, learning series of PySpark, today we will see how we can connect uh, to a database uh, using JDBC driver. Uh, so for giving this demo, I will be connecting to MySQL server which is installed on my local system. So if you want to install MySQL server, you can watch my another video where I have explained the steps to install MySQL server and MySQL server uh, workbench. Uh, you will get some idea how to install and uh, configure it. So using that, uh, we will connect Spark to that database and then we will create a data frame. Uh, reading the data from directly from the database. So let's see uh, what we have to do for that. So the basic requirement is uh, we need to have uh, MySQL server setup. So if you can see, I have already uh, installed it uh, and it's the local instance is running on my system. Uh, host name is localhost and port number is 3306. This is the root user and instance is uh, created on my local system. Okay, so I'll be connecting to this instance from uh, Spark Engine. Okay, and to connect to it, we need all these details uh, as I explained, right? JDBC host name, uh, JDBC port number, the database, and JDBC URL. So once we have these details, we can connect to the database instance. So here I am just using the Spark session. So we'll just create a Spark session. I'll just run it. So once the Spark session is connected, what I'm doing is I'm just populating these variables with the required values. So here the host name is local host, uh, JDBC port is 3306. Database that I'll be connecting to here is I have done a setup of uh, the database called as classic model. Okay, so that we will use. So this database I'll be connecting and from this I'll just connect to maybe customer tables and we will see how we can read that data. So these are the details. Now the JDBC URL that we have to define is uh, defined in this way like JDBC uh, colon MySQL colon double slash and JDBC host name that is local host and then the port number slash database name. So once we run this um, all these values will be populated in these variables which we'll be using. Connection properties, uh, so user is root, that is the root user. This we define while we set up uh, MySQL server, okay? Password also is something which we have to configure while installing My MySQL server. Driver is com, for MySQL server, it's com.mysql.cj.jdbc.driver, okay? So this we need to put here. But before we can connect, we need to have the driver in the, uh, in the class path of Spark. Okay, so what we have to do, there is one step that we'll have to do. Uh, we'll have to download the connector jar for MySQL and we'll place that jar in our Spark jars. Okay, so that it is, it is, it can identify the driver and using that it will be able to connect to the database. So for that we need to download this. So here in, in Google, we just need to search with MySQL connector jar for Windows and the first link that you can see right, download connector. So we'll have to click on this. And in the operating system, we'll have to just give as performance uh, platform independent. So here we will get these two. Any one of these we can download. So I'll just download the zip version. So once it gets downloaded, uh, you will see that it is like this in, in zip folder. We'll have to extract it. Okay, so let's just extract it. Uh, there will be a jar file inside this that we will be copying and pasting in the spark folder So we'll see that in just a moment Okay, so this connector is extracted in this folder So I'll just go inside this and from here my SQL connector uh, This we have to copy this jar file. We have to just copy it and In the initial video of uh, this learning series there is video number two where we had installed spark on our local system and during that time we had to create this spark folder so that all the binaries and all the libraries related to spark 3.5.0 was uh, placed here so in this same folder in the spark folder uh, from which basically the spark executes we have this jars folder okay in this jars folder we need to place this uh, file that we have just now downloaded so here if you see mysql server connector.jar this we have placed here 
now once this is there we are ready so now what i will do i will run this connection properties let's create that connection properties table i want to connect to or read customer table and create a data frame so i'll just run this i'm just populating this variable and these are debugging print statements that i'm using so jdbc url is coming correctly here and connection properties is also coming correctly here okay so these are fine now what we have to do is we have this simple spark read command but instead of uh, giving like uh, earlier we used to give file type like maybe avro or parquet right this time we will give dot jdbc so spark dot read dot jdbc and under that we have to give the url so this is the url variable and the url is nothing but what we have populated here so all jdbc port host name and along with database name will come here so url we have given table name also we have populated here so i want to read the customers table and in properties we are giving connection properties which is nothing but the user credentials and the driver so these things we when we provide and we just do a read it will directly connect to the database and it will create a data frame from that particular table so i'll just run this uh, as soon as it runs, uh, since it has df.show statement also here, so it will show the content. So it was able to successfully connect to the table, uh, that is the customer table, and it is giving me this entire data. Okay. So now our first da uh, data frame from the MySQL server table is created. Now we can do any uh, operation on this, any action on this. Uh, if we want to add some columns or refine it or maybe filter some records or something we can do everything here okay using this data frame so for just to verify let's just print the column names so whatever data frame got created now this one let's just cross verify that it is the similar table which it is reading from uh, sql server or not so it has some columns like customer number customer name contact last name contact first name let's just browse our customer table and see in the columns we will see customer number customer name contact last name and contact first name so this is same and few last columns are like city state postal code country uh, city state postal code country okay and let's also maybe uh, just uh, do a select uh, select star and see if the data also looks similar or not this is our table in this particular database let's just run this so here we can see customer number 103 112 14 19 something similar we'll get here also 103 12 14 19 address is 54 rio royal so address we'll get 54 rio royal so this is the same data which is present in this table okay so this way we can uh, connect to the database uh, using jdbc url and from here on our uh, different spark actions and spark apis can be used and we can filter the data we can do some actions we can do some transformations and we can finally cleanse the data and the required data we can put back into the table or into a hive table or into a file that we have seen in the previous videos so this was all about uh, connecting to databases using jdbc driver i hope you liked this video if so please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the future informative videos that i'll be posting until then bye bye have a nice day